All right, good morning from the city of Trincomalee here in northeastern Sri Lanka. Today, we've got ourselves some rusty old bikes to explore this little seaside city. So let's go see what's going on. All right then, we'll kick off the day with a local breakfast in this spot. Just park the bikes up over here somewhere. Now these might have become our favourite type of spots here in Sri Lanka. These are the government run local food spots that the women in the area come and work in. And yeah, just sell good old home cooked food. So, you've just got different windows. We've got eight different windows here selling different snacks, different breakfast items, lunch items, whatever. So, what's she got? Dosa. The coconut and whatever, yeah. Right, so we'll have a quick look and then we'll pick some things out. You can see we've got loads of choice. They're really good these spots, they're super affordable and always really good and tasty. Vanaka. Please can I get one plate hutu? Yes please. What do you want? Can I have string pop then? Okay, there we go. Now honestly, like I said, there's eight windows. Everything looks good, smells good. The ladies are proper smiley. Just proper home cooked food, you can't go wrong with it. We've got a couple of desserts, look at this. So we'll get um, our plate and then we'll get a cup of tea. I'll have a proper brekkie. And here's the pitu, look at this. It's really good. I'm excited for this one. I do like this dish. Good tea queue next to me. Flipping out. Everyone's piling in. Because we get soup as well, it looks like. Right, I'm going to put camera in and carry this all over to the table. Over there. Here we go, then everyone got our nice little breakfast here. So I've got the putu, got that steamed rice flour, coconut, the sambal, some other mad dish that looks really good. So yeah, we'll just break that up. And what else have we got? We've got some desserts, look at this, the dessert look really good. Then we got like a lentil soup, almost like a dal or something. Looks good. And Alicia's got a nice plate of string offers. Ten of them. That's too big, too much. I think Look it's going to be five, but <laughs> we'll see how far I get. So here we go. We'll try these. Looks really good. Let's pour some of this over the top and give it a try then. Genuinely looks fantastic. Look at this. We a little flood. That looks good. Super stuff. It's just hearty food, like carb heavy, healthy, fresh, filling food. So let's try it. Look at that. And the sun looks beautiful. Get some of the sambal. Open up sambal. That looks well good. Yeah. The sambal's. Exceptional. It's well spicy. That is perfect. I like that. And we also got that strange green dish. We'll try some of that. Oh, that's good. Very earthy. Don't know if you can see there. It's got a very earth, really deep taste. And it's good though. How's yours, Leash? Mm, really good. These are really, really light, super light, string poppers, and I just have the coconut sambal as well. It's spicy, that. It's spicy, but it's really delicious. You really fresh. fresh. It's got loads of red onions in it. It's one of my favourite I've had, because yeah, it's proper it's really hot. Good. Delicious. Right. Now we're on pudding. So I actually don't know what this is. It just looked colourful in the window, so I picked it. Here she is. Got a bit of a razor, number some nuts. Oh, it's very firm. Let's try it. Oh, come on, get on the spoon. Let's see. I don't know what it is, it tastes like halwa. It's a little bit sweet, not sick, but a bit nutty. Hey, it's alright though, it's quite mild. Then we got my favourite. Now I don't know what these are, we just had these the other day on the street side. They feel like 
coconut and sugar and some bits and bobs, let's see. Look at that. I'll bite into it for you. Oh, it's stuffed. So yeah, coconut. You're gonna have to tell me. What's the outside, like steamed flour? Rice flour, anyway. They all go. Piss off. We sit him up there. Sitting right above us, aren't you? Hey. Leisha's gone to get us a tea. And we've been waiting that long, I'm almost convinced the ladies have gone to the tea plantation to pick it themselves. Flipping heck. <laughs> Here we go. What have you got? Same as you. Just black tea? Yeah. Black tea, what are we on here? Stuart's tea. Don't know why I said that in a French accent. Right, look at that. Oh, let's make this nice and dark. Any sugar? We don't really have that. There's a lot of sugar in there. Yeah. a little bit. In the bottom, she's mixed it in. A heap of tablespoon Oh, well, it tastes good. <laughs> let's try this boiling hot tea then. Just what you need on a boiling hot day. It's alright. It's a simple pack tea, a little bit better. It's alright. Alright. Ready to hit the mean streets in a trinco sun. I smell sunburn coming to here. We've just paid all the ladies you've got to pay at each individual window. Now everything came to 500 rupees, like £1.30. You can't complain at that, I mean the food, I reckon's fantastic. They're all really friendly. Yeah, what more can you want? So, we're going to head off on the bikes, into Trinco Town, down the beach, see what's going on. Hey up, good morning miss. Well, I come. Hello, Hello sir, Hello. Good, morning. good morning. I like your cow, very nice cow. Ah, look at this. You can't beat it, can you? When you got your little cycle, you're in for a good day. So here we go. We've just seen a chap at the side of the road who's saying loads of fresh seafood. So we come to have a look. Hello, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Just come to have a look. It looks very fresh. So what do we have? These crab look really good. They look good, don't they? Uh, catch today. Today. Like two day, fresh. Mm. And then what else do we have? We've got loads of small squid. Look at these, they're tiny. Prawns. Prawns, yeah. What's this fish? This long one here. Good. Long nose. This one, good. It's a good one. Right. And then these, these little guys. Wow. See so yeah, a proper little street side spot. Okay, sir, thank you. thank you. Best of luck today, okay? I just had to have a look. Goodbye. Because we just saw him at the side of the road and he's just got a tray full, a table full of fresh seafood. Like we are literally on the beach, the next street over there is the beach. So actually we'll head into a fishing community and see what we can find. We'll go down the front. We'll head down this one then, eh? Down to the beach, the seafront. Let's see what's going on. City beach. Fisherman beach. Hello, sir. Yeah. You can see the ocean. So now this street is like a little Hindu community. A couple of streets back, it was like pure Muslim oh, community. Right, everyone, here we are. The main beach here in town. Big beach. Spanning pretty much the whole of Trinco. Got all the crows, bastards. So as you can see, this is a pure fishing village, literally, look. Look at how many boats are lining this beach. In that direction, same the other way, look at this. Pure fishing town, but it is quite nice, look. Palm trees. I mean, the beach is beautiful, but as always, 
in a fishing area, you know, there is always a lot of shit on the beach, but it is what it is. I mean, we are out of season, pretty much. So, as you can see, the sea is rough. I think in season things are a lot cleaner. But it's lovely, isn't it? Proper fresh breeze. I'm gonna take my shoes off here so they don't fly away in the sea. Let's see how warm the water is, eh? The water looks inviting. Let's see. Hey, it's nice and cool, it's refreshing. I like it. You can see a lot of fishermen out there. Hey! Pack it in, you! Eh? Pack it in. Find something better to do. Just trying to have a look at the beach. Yeah? Bloody hell, let's sit there to that. Youths, in it. Right, so we'll um, take the bikes. I think we'll cycle down the front, see if we can find anything interesting. All the way into town and up that massive rock over there. So we'll head down here, yeah? See what we can find. Right, mate. Oi, I've got no brakes, it's a, um, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, be careful leash. It's a standard thing anywhere in the world, if anyone's giving you a bike to flip your neck, be careful. Just fell off in sand nearly. <laughs> if anyone's giving you a bike for free, it just definitely never has any brakes. Yours actually got them compared to mine. Does it? Look at mine, this is full brake. <laughs> I mean... You don't really need it, but yeah, I can't believe it's nearly flopped onto the sand. All right, mate. Hey, up. We have come across a dead, cool little juice shop here, right on the beach. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Check this out. This is cool, isn't it? All right, let's see what our mate's got. Well, I got Hello, sir. How, How are we are doing? You? Oh, you're just setting up still. Okay. Oh, got so lots I can of see. Drinks. It's got some limes out. Yeah. We've got some bottles of syrup. Oh, it's like short bath, eh? Soda bath? Yeah. You have soda bath? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Let's see what he can do us here in this little shop. Hey, is that clock right? 10 to 9. 10 to, 10 to 9. Oh, 20 minutes slow. Bloody hell, I had open. What else do I have? We've got some biscuits. Right, we'll let our mates set up. So you have. Uh, Sarah Bath with, with this. Yeah. Yes. Just one, please, sir. Okay, two. Two, yes. Yeah. Shall we get one each? Yeah. Okay. I can't say no to this chap. Right. I wonder what he does. Let's actually watch him make this. He's cleaning those limes. Let's see how it goes down. Flipping out. It's nice under here with a little bit of shade. Honestly, it's, it's cooking up. Right. So she's just going to cut them limes up. He's got a nice clean workspace up here, I tell you. Squeezing all juice out. Hey, you get quite a bit of juice in them as well. And he flicked out the excess seeds as well before he started. It's a crow. Look who's just appeared, flipping Tom the crow. Hey mate, these drinks ain't for you. We're actually fishing out all the seeds here. Which is good because nobody wants the seeds in your drink. The bitter seeds. So look at that. Right. What's this sugar? Sugar, yeah. Bit of sugar mixed it up. I say a bit of sugar. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That's four. That's not even a tablespoon. That's like a fucking dessert spoon. Massive spoon. Four big ones. Four giant spoons of sugar in it, Alish. Just what we need to start the day. <laughs> Too fair, yeah. Cancels out the sourness. Then we've got some mystery water of unknown origin. Oh well. I don't know where that came from. I think it came from that big barrel at the back. Just gives it a bit of a mix up. There we go. Pours it in between those little sandcastle pots. Oh yeah, the water's from in there, oh gosh. This is a risky one, isn't it? Oh, risky's my middle name. Oh, now we've got a big 
bag of ice, fresh ice. Yeah, we need some ice to cool us down, don't we? I'm sure we'll be right. We're just gonna bash this up. We've got here early. Oh man, still isn't even ready for the day. We got here with Kinos. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that, breaking the ice old school with big wooden stick. Let's go straight into our little bucket. Look at this. We're on cocktail buckets. Just realised I didn't ask this man how much this cost. We, we, we never do that recently. But everyone's generally been alright, so. I don't even bother. I just have faith in humans. So cups have just come out here. Get a little swill, little rinse, little cling. And there they are. Look at that, everyone. Nice, fresh, refreshing drink. Look at this. This is professionalism here, scooping those excess seeds out like a boss. Right, sir. Thank you so much. Hey, it's cold. Oh, Cheers. Cheers. Down it in one. <laughs> Alright, let's see how it is. I can't down it one because all the ice though, it's really refreshing. Oh, it's well, but it's literally just lime water, lime sugar water. We didn't actually get any of the syrup in the end. But it's alright because this is, this is super refreshing. And what a place for a drink, eh? Alright. Just unsure where that water came from. Maybe it's sea water. I'm joking. Before you cry. Your water? In here? Is it is it from the tap? Yeah? Oh, okay, okay. But it's good. Okay. Rain? Rain? This? It's rainwater. Uh, drink. Cup. Good. Okay. Okay. What the hell? Yeah. Rainwater leach, apparently. Well, is that good for you? I don't know, I don't think it is, but. Oh well. What is the price, sir? 300. Okay. 300 rupees, so 150 each for our mate. Thank you, sir. I've got to say, that drink was very refreshing. Gosh, drink it too fast. Very refreshing. Oh! Scrim off. Thank you. Okay, cheers. You. See you later. Fantastic, that. Now, I'm just going to say, people always do comment stuff like, how do you not get ill eating and drinking everything? And I think the reason we don't get ill is because we eat and drink everything. You know, we're always on the, the questionable water, the ice. We eat absolutely anywhere. Yeah, I'm guessing our stomachs just get used to it. We're not clean freaks. We don't carry around a bottle of sanitizer. We don't wash our hands all the time. We're just really easy going and we pretty much don't have problems. Like in what, three years? Maybe it's a couple of times. Bad issues. Never really ill, just like maybe off the trots for two days. Anyway, let's go. Back on the steeds, that's not mine, that's mine. Right. What a cool spot, I like the guy as well. So uh, keep going. Hey bloody hell, I hope I didn't jinx that now. Famous last words and all that. <laughs> nah, I think we'll be right. It's a nice cycle this, honestly. Right down the beach. Hello, good morning. You can actually see a cow there under one of the fishing boats. Oh, she's in shade. Lovely stuff. Right, oh sh gosh. I like that. Hello. Do you sell uh, water near? 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 Water? Water? Please come and get one. Let's see if she's got a bottle of water. It's just too hot, though. and we're going to die. Oh, she's got a fridge. Oh, perfect. <laughs> What is that? 170? Give her 200 and just see. Okay. A nice ice cold bottle of water, blue ice. Where did we get the water from? Let's see. Thank you very much, I don't know. Oh, spring. It's a spring sourced water. Thank you. It's too hot. Goodbye. So I'll put this in basket. 
bloody hell everyone, we've managed to get ourselves an unsealed water bottle. Oh gosh. What does that mean? <laughs> it's been refilled. It doesn't taste right that on. You know? It's like plastic. Not gonna lie. <laughs> know what I mean? Tastes a bit funky. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't do that. <laughs> Hello. We're now more towards the centre of Trincor Town, and as you can see, it's quite a chill place, you know, there's not much going on, not much traffic, not many people. I'd even say a bit of a sleepy town, sleepy fisherman town, maybe. In peak tourist season it's busier, but then again, not the town, because everyone's staying in like, nice resorts outside of town so yeah here it is it's a lot of restaurants jeweler shops places selling backpacks and shite bars hey wine shop good old Sri Lankan wine shop always looks so dodgy them places now I can tell you that that is a giant fish market without even going any closer the stench off that place, man. Flipping hell. Stinks. We're grabbing another bottle of water. Has it got a seal on? Let's yeah, see. Look at that. Oh, look. An actual proper bottle of water. Gosh knows what that lady's bottling up at her house over there. It could be anything. Right, I'll tell you what, and she charged us the same price as a sealed bottle of water. Suspicious. What is this? Just tea cake? Just bread? Plain bread? Okay, so we're getting some uh, freshly baked plain bread for the beer. I'll show you them in a second. Ladies in the shop tell us they love a good old tea cake. Thank you. Bye -bye. Right, let me show you our four leg mates. There's a couple here. I think they might be all over town, eh? Where we're heading. Hello. Now, I'm not going to scare you here. Oh, you've been fed before, haven't you? I know that face. That's a face of excitement. Yeah? Oh, you're quite cute, eh? But you can smell the buns. Go on, Leash. Give them one of them, then we'll save one. Hey, you're quite nice, aren't you? Just want the food, though, don't you? Eh? Oh! Oh, well, the lady recommended this. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Let me give little Miss some as well. She's being a bit greedy. Greedy oh, pools. This side, this side. Oh, okay. Good buttercream. All the animal rights activists are going to have a They'll feed. They'll love this, won't they? Oh, you shouldn't be feeding the deer this. Right, well, you can come here and feed them whatever you want. Hey, 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 hey. Got to do a trick. Go on, jump. They're so gentle. Right, go on, I'll greet you. Let's not wind you up. Oh gosh, you don't want to lick the buttercream off her fingers. <laughs> oh, their tongues are horrible. Yeah, but look at how gentle they are, watch. They're yeah, they're so quite nice. Gentle. They're nice animals, aren't they? Stop being greedy, I want to give a little miss. <laughs> right, let's see, can we touch you? Oh yeah, we can. If you don't mind, I'll look. Like big dogs, look. Because there's food here. Oh, go on, son. Hey, they're quite hard, they're quite... Um, Enough chatting shit about the deers. What, are, what has the channel turned into? Little miss, come on, come on. Let's give you some over here, yeah? No, no, you're not interested now? Are you camera shy? Oh, quite all right, ain't you? Go on, lick cream off. No? All right, it's in a bit. <laughs> Can we take you, little one, and put you in a basket? Take you to the fort with us. Hello sir, are you enjoying the spectacle? The white people feeding the deer. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's sipping it from my bottle. Hey, look at this everyone. We found a use for the unsealed bottle of water. She oh, is loving that, isn't she? Nice and cold for you. Look at that. Oh. It's got its lips on the bottle. I didn't even know a deer could do this. <laughs> yeah, absolutely <laughs> hilarious. How was it? How was it? Do you want some more? Should we give you a little wash as well while we're at it? Oh god. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> the deer 
He's drinking properly out the bottle. Oh, oh my gosh. Can the little one do it as well? Come on then. That is one skilled beer. Oh goodness me. We found the smelliest shop in old Sri Lanka, the dried fish shop. Look at this. I tell you. That is a pongi one. Look at it all. He's got big, he's got small. He's got it all. Let's go around this lady doing a bit of sweeping up. Look at that, proper dry fish, they are giant. Holy moly. Party tuk tuk, party house. Go on. It appears we have found the dear mother lord. Hello everyone. We're all having a lovely Monday morning. I take that as a yes. Yeah. I'm not going to disturb you, I'm just going round you. Yeah. We don't have any food left for them. But I've just seen a sign, this is funny, look. The do's and don'ts, feeding the deer. Please do feed them vegetables, nice and gently. Oh, you're peeking round the corner, are you? Please don't feed them bread. I'm guessing this means butter buns. Don't feed them out plastic water bottles. And why is that even there? Like, I'm going to come and give the deer some drugs. Wow. Who's even done that? Has someone done that? That's, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Now then everyone, does any of you want to try on some pit vipers? I promise you, you will be the coolest deer in the park, yeah? Wow. You look cool. Hey, they're all jealous of you. You look mega cool. The lady's over there, she's probably gonna tell me off. Leash couldn't resist. She's got a big bowl of vegetables from the lady over there to feed these deer. And they can smell it, they're all here, aren't they? Should we give him some? We've got an array of veggies. We've got this. Like a little... Oh, oh ho, ho, look at that. That one's got a pattern on it. Hey, you've got to be careful. They'll start diving on you, really. Oh, Alice, you need to help me then because they're, they're too big. Oi! Go on, give us a piece. Nasty people don't get things. Oh, cucumber. <gasps> Oi! Oh, look at that. What a ledge. Go on, son. Big jumper. Hello, sir. Look at this leash. Queen of the deer. <laughs> from, uh, from England, sir. England. Yes. Ah, I think this is enough deer for you, innit? Oh dear. I like the old boy here. Oh, horns have all shredded there, though. Look at his horn. Up close, they're very cool, aren't they? I've never seen them this up close. They almost look like um, tree branches. Hello. She loves it, least, doesn't she? Absolutely loves it. <laughs> To be fair, they're well behaved here. They're not jumping on you. No, they're well behaved, I'd look. Like to give it to the little ones. Go on, I'll get the little one. The little one in the middle. Hey everyone. Oh shh, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Eat it, eat it, eat it quick. There we go. Oh you don't pinch, don't pinch. This is hers, yeah? You get your own after. Look at this absolutely gorgeous blue ocean right there. Look at that. How inviting is that? Right. Look at this, what a place. Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? Looking good, mate. Right, so we're led into here. Into the fort area. Look at that though, look at the sea. Beautiful. Right, little Portuguese fort, let's see what's going on. Bloody hell, some view that, innit? What a nice place. Let's just pull over here a second, show you this. Look at that. In the distance. That beach looks beautiful. Look how blue the water is. It's nice and clear as well. Get in. Here we go everyone. Into the fort area, Fort Frederick. Old Portuguese fort let's see on the edge of this cliff now and over at the very end we've got a hindu temple which is where i think we're gonna head hindu temple on a cliff with a view go on look at these old trees wow hey i tell you what you can as soon as you come through feel the um old colonial vibe in here portuguese vibe it's this little buddhist temple at the bottom Let's have a look around there. Wow, very smart hat. The army bloke's got on.
we're dumping the bikes at the bottom of a hill because we've got a bit of a walk ahead of us and it's hot. We don't want to be pushing them up, so here we go. Cheers, lads. That's those chaps. Keep eyes on bikes. I think we found the most popular tourist place in Trinco. Look at this. All your gift shops are an utter <laughs> and absolute shite. Let's see. We're going to head into here. I don't know what is round here. Just behind the Corville, the temple. It looks like we might have an absolutely gorgeous ocean view. Wow. Hey. You just want to dive off there. When you're as hot as we are now, nothing is more inviting than diving off into that. Looks so nice and refreshing. How beautiful is it? So, so blue. Look at the views down there with the big rocks. Wow. Gorgeous here, isn't it? Now that was really nice, checking out the temple. Right on the top of the cliff, lovely views everywhere. We were going to head in here for a juice with the beautiful view in the background. But I just spoke to the lady and she said, an orange juice is 600, like a watermelon juice is like 800. That's like two quid. That is a flipping outrage. So, we're gonna pass on that. And we're just gonna head back into town. I kid you not, we literally walked, what, 20 steps from that other shop. We came in here because these people are actually really nice and welcoming. They've got loads of fresh fruit, so we're getting a Sri Lankan orange each. And the 300 in here. So the half price it on there, I think it's just price gouges. These are whiteies, I'm guessing. Look at this, we've got a view. Ball, shrink on Look at that. It's a beautiful day today. You can see super long beach. We're staying somewhere down there. I mean, I couldn't think of anywhere better to have a nice refreshing juice. Thank you, sir. Yeah, All right. That is just what the doctor ordered, isn't it? Like, it is incredibly hot. I feel like I'm going to collapse walking down the hill. It's cold, it's fresh, Sri Lankan orange. Unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. It's fantastic, mate. Very good. Very refreshing. Top stuff, that. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. And with this view, like, how nice is this? That ain't nice. I've told you. Sri Lankan crows. I'm going to shoot them all. <laughs> Thank you so much. While we're here, just let me show you these Sri Lankan oranges. Some of them are normal size, but when you see these, you've got some that are just absolutely giant. Like, that is a big orange. It's small orange. That's an orange. Orange. It's big. But this one is so massive, this one. Small. <laughs> this is big. This is also orange. All, all orange, yeah. The same, the same. No, different. Uh, this is different. All orange. Okay. Different, different kinds of orange. Oh, wow. Bahome Goodbye. Top that. Let's clear off. What is the name? Surangi. 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 Hello Surangi. How are you? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Mama and a little kid. Oh, wow. oh whoa, whoa. We'll look from a distance. We don't want it climbing on us. <laughs> we don't like monkeys. They're alright to look at but no. Sur Surangi! Oh, she's all right, I think. They must know her, they must feed her and stuff. Oh, well, there you go, there's your monkey over there. All right, see you later. See you later. There's monkeys absolutely everywhere, can you see? Oh, they're running around. Let's go, let's clear off, clear off quick before they come after us. Everyone laughed at me. They came ah. over to me and I was like this. <laughs> I don't know what the Sri Lankan monkeys are like, but Southeast Asian monkeys, we ate them. They're no good. We're gonna get an ice cold drink because we're dying in this scorching sun. 
So we've got Nectar, Cream Soda and Orange Crush. Let's get an Orange Crush, what's this? Just the um, Sri Lankan Fanta, right? Okay, we've got two of these glass bottles. How much is this one, sir? 100, okay. 100 I like your tunes. Cheers. There we go. Thank you, sir. Cheers. <laughs> the little hundred pick me up. Cheers. Alright, let's get over here. Cheers. How is it? Cheers. <laughs> Orange Crush. Oh, it's good that. Much fun to in it. That is good. That's that's really good. It's like you're necking about on the wine. This is good as well, this is a Schlankum flipping classic. <laughs> what about this one? Everyone will love this one, won't they? Let me get a good one. Hey, don't say it, I don't provide you with absolute top content. Hey, hey, hey. Look, oh, here. <laughs> Let's get one more of them, eh? Oh, 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 oh. How can you tell a Brit abroad? <laughs> he licked me. Flippy, I just kissed a deer, didn't I? Does that mean I'm gay? It's a lady deer. Oh, that's alright then, isn't it? <laughs> no worries now. Oh, dear. This one with the cataract is very cheap. Oh, the baby! <laughs> they are pretty much just going to sit on your knee, don't they? Ow! <laughs> my foot! You big old... Ow! Oh, you <laughs> stood on me, mate! What are you doing that for? You stood on me toes! <laughs> Jump over the fence! <laughs> oh my god, we're going to skip. Come back in, everyone! <laughs> So one naughty deer bit one of my buttons and thought it was a snack and it's ruined it. It's just disintegrated in its mouth. Which one of you was it who bit me? See what you've done everyone. I think it was this See one. what you've done. I think it was that one. That was, that's ridiculous. You can't just eat people's buttons like that man. It's rude isn't it? You have to learn some manners man. And we're back where we started. The sun absolutely took it out of us. So we just had a rest all day. But now we're heading out on the bikes again for some tea. Hopefully gonna get some really good Sri Lankan food. Listen to this. Most annoying bike in the galaxy. Oh what, and there's no brakes. Feet. And the seat spins, right. Now we hear this spot, there's a tip top kotu and other dishes, so we're going to check it out. Apple restaurant. Questionable name and branding, I know, but here we go. Look at that. The moustached Italian man, whatever he is. Pictures look good, so let's see what's going on. What have we got? Yeah, he told us it was. Yeah. This is apparently the spot for the best kotu in yeah. town. <laughs> in Trinko. He, he said Sri Lanka, yeah, maybe the best in Sri Lanka. What are these? These are devil dishes? Uh, chicken devil. Chicken devil. You have prawn devil? Oh yeah, prawn, prawn devil. Like chicken devil. Just like little prawns, aren't they? Chicken looks delicious as well. Oh, 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 oh. What, um, which kotu do you have? Oh, sorry, menu. <laughs> oh, you have cuttlefish? Huh? You have cuttlefish? Yeah. Is that cuttlefish squid? Squid here. So everything always says cuttlefish, but I think it's just squid. I'll tell you what, I might get that while we're on the course. What do you reckon? I think we should go for it last year. I think maybe I'll get the prawns. The devil prawns? Yeah. And we just share that? Yeah, the chicken doesn't really look like you said we're on the course. Yeah, let's so get some little prawnies. Yeah. Literally, you might think that isn't enough food. We've made this mistake a lot. We both ordered a kotu, and the portions are so big that one portion. It's just enough for two people, it's mad. So yeah, just got to. Veg, egg, chicken, beef, cuttlefish, mix. 
Wow, that sounds interesting. They also sell hoppers, rice dishes. Let's do that, yeah? Please can we get one cuttlefish bottle? Fish bottle? Uh, no, no, fish bottle. Only drums, chicken, egg. Oh, no cuttlefish. Cuttlefish. You, you don't have? No how? Uh, this okay. one is chicken bottle and drums, okay. egg, and vegetables. Oh gosh, people. Oh, should I go to the market and buy some cuttlefish? <laughs> Please, can we just get one egg cuttle? And can you make it spicy? One portion. Yeah, one portion. But can you do it spicy, please? Spicy. Right, very spicy. Chili, chili. Chili. Chili, no. No, yeah, lot, lot, lots yeah. of chili. Yeah, chili. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spicy. Yeah, yeah spicy, yeah. 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 And then one prawn. And one devil one prawn, prawn, please. Yes, please. Thank you so much. One egg cuttle. Yes. One prawn cuttle. It does look very good that dish. I'll show you when it comes to the table. Prawn devil, chicken devil. Looks spicy. Got some water on the table. Hey, let me just show you. It's like um, golden hour sun setting over there behind the palm trees. Look at that. So absolute sod slow. Bloody hell. No cuttlefish, no squid. I was really looking forward to that, but it is what it is. We'll make that right somewhere else. I love this. I love it when places do that, these small businesses, it just makes me have a great chuckle. So these are only 3 50 that's a fantastic price, less than a pound. And you get a lot of chicken there, and quite a few prawns. Let's sit down and let our man make the food. Show you when it comes. Oh, that looks super, that. Beautiful. Beautiful dish, mate. Right. Thank you very much. What have we got? Again, egg totu, that's it, innit? I forgot. So, as you can see, the portion is very large. Like, when I flatten this, so kotu, egg kotu, so we've got no meat here, we've just got that nice, oh so look at that, that chilli looks fantastic. There's egg, veg, onion, what is this, spring onion, chilli, carrot, what else is in there? Oh the chopped up roti, that's what kotu is, classic Sri Lankan dish. Some mystery sauce on top, and then this is the, what would you call it, is it devil prawn? Prawn devil, I don't know, but this is on all the menus in, in these little restaurants here in Sri Lanka, we haven't tried it yet. Smells quite good. So anyway, we've just got. Oh, we've got loads of different sized prawns. Most are quite small. Oh, thank you. Very oh, much. Super. Thank you. What, what gravy is it like? Gravy, chicken gravy or just chicken? No, chicken gravy. No. no. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers. So we've got a gravy just arrived. Veg gravy. That looks quite good, doesn't it? Actually, <laughs> looks quite rich. Yes, pep huge peppercorns in it. I was just showing you this. Look, we've got different sized little prawns with the tail on. You know the little crunchy ones, loads of chilli, it does look quite good. We're going to have to ask for another plate that we can share, aren't we? No, that's a good idea. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Here we go then, me and Leash split everything in half and as you can see, it's still so much food. So like the value for money is exceptional, look at that. Very excited to try this, supposedly very good. So, initially just looking at this, I can tell you that the actual Potu, the roti in there is chopped up really finely. Finer than anywhere else we've been so far, so that's interesting. Now I'm not going to put the gravy on yet, I'm just going to try it. Looks like to um, get a little bit of chilli thrown in there as well. It's really good. Let's see how this is. It's fresh, it's super hot. I do really like this dish because it's always so um, filling and comforting. But let's try it. Like, it. like I said, it's comforting. It's got a right kick to it. Oh, mate, it's delivered the goods. It's delivered in the spice department. Sri Lanka was banging these dishes out in the spice department. I'm doing it right. It's always fresh, not too oily. I've had some that have been a bit oily, a bit heavy, but this, no, this is really good. Now it's got to try. What did I just say? Now we've got to try the devil prawns, as you can see. Come on, man! Come on, man! It's getting a bit wrong. It's little. Oh, I'm in the worst time of life. Little full crunchy prawns. I don't even know if you can see that one. Mmm. Yep. 
crunchy. They can like stab you in the mouth if you're not careful. Well, that sauce is weird because it's spicy. But I'd actually say it's more sweet. Yeah, it's like sweet, that like sweet sugar. Yeah, good. So Super nice. Delicious. So I'll just try it with the hot too. Mm, very well. So he gave us this gravy, he said it's vegetable gravy. I can see loads of peppercorns in there. It looks very, it smells very earthy. Put some up. Give it a go. Huh? It almost tastes like a, like it's got star and ace in it. I'm like, look, I don't want to put this miscellaneous spice, but there's definitely loads of pepper in it. It's really tasty, that. Well right. So yeah, this food is an absolute winner. Little prawns. I've got to say they are good. They taste good. They're not overpowering. They're not like stinky bad prawns. You know what I mean? The good, the good prawns. Good little shrimpy fellas. And on that note, I made a revelation. It's chip shop for a Elise shop. Really? Come on, pour a spoon on here then. I'll give it a little try. It's better, obviously, but that's like what it tastes like. Let's see. It looks like a gravy. Let's just turn my plate around a bit. Let's see how it is. Let's not mix it with the prawns. Yeah. I know what you mean. I think mean, it's got like those. You need some more of the gravy consistency. Spice, spice. Yeah, we'll to it, as soon as I tasted that, I bit through a peppercorn. That's very good. Phenomenal. Thank you so much. That's so good. Is this enough? Thousand. Yeah. Thousand? Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Best cut two we've had. Yeah. Number one. You want two? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's take a picture. Okay. Let's put this down now. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank so there we go, eh? Apple restaurant. I like it. But I don't like this. Apple. We've just dropped our bikes off in the hotel here. Now, as you can see, we are pretty much on the beach. Look at this. So we're gonna watch the last of the sunset. I can see Leash has found a stray dog there. Beach dog. So yeah, we'll just walk down here and end the video. Wait, lads. What's going on here? We're doing a bit of dancing, romancing. <laughs> oh, all right, little cock. She's cute. It's a man. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> hey, don't you boot me with that nose. So, let's just show you. The beach is very nice at sunset. You can see the sea is still a little bit rough, but it's fine, you can swim in it. Still quite blue in it. So yeah, you can actually see our hotel terrace from here. It's absolutely lovely. Might throw a cooking for you just because we've been sitting on there every day and just chilling out. Right, here we go. Not a bad spot, eh? For a fisherman's beach, not bad at all. Right. I think we'll leave this one here. Cheers for watching. See you at next one.